Ashley Sports TV bring you transfer news. Enzo Moresca confirmed Emma Hayes women's team confirmed replacement. The same company, Bayern Munich confirmed. Barcelona, Real Madrid transfer news are on your way. If you just join us and you are new, remember to subscribe and be part of this amazing community. Hey, remember your opinions are always welcome. Like, share, and then subscribe. <laughs> I'm here with Sami. I don't know what to say because I think what we have been bringing to you, there is some kind of resource in that and I'm so glad and happy that these names are confirming right now. And hey, just stay tuned. Let's continue and then tell you more stories about the confirmation or latest new update of the transfer news as well. Sami, what's up? Yeah, everything is cool. We have been the great time of our life, especially at this moment where we have a lot of transfer updates, transfer news, rumors and all that. So, yeah, it's, it's good. Talking about uh, latest transfer rumors, Chelsea, Enzo Moresca has been confirmed by Chelsea. Now they're detailing, like who to join the payment system and all that. How do you see that? confirmation yeah i think uh, something we talked about it so anyone who is who is regular on this channel knows that um we hinted about him and i think it's a good it's a good deal unfortunately for me uh, his, his his level he's not regarded as a manager he's going to be a coach that means he's going to work under the supervision of the the sporting directors so mm -hmm. uh, it's a good one but then I, I hope that he uses opportunity because it's a bigger club than the club he used to coach to be a learning stone for him. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing. According to the stories, they love him and he also buy into the idea because he like York working with young players and he also had Premier League experience as well. Played in championship with Leicester and bring them to the Premier League as well. And it looks like he's so excited than Chelsea themselves in joining that club. Probably it's, it's, it's a big deal for sure uh, for him. And I think his football, his way of attacking, his possessive way of playing football speaks it all. Not like he's going to be involved in the transfer as well. Talking about Chelsea, they are still looking forward to do more transfers as well. Emma Hayes, a wonderful uh, uh, coach. For Chelsea women's team, she has been taking the trophies for how long? A lot. And she had that kind of respect. And now she is going to be the U.S. national women team coach. And I heard she already had her first training session with the uh, women at U.S. for sure. And hey, his, her replacements have been confirmed. The name is Sonia Bapasta, who is replacing Emma Hayes. Will she be able to uh, win the title or continue what Emma Hayes left behind? Well, looking at what Emma Hayes have done for Chelsea, I think it's something that on the women's front, she's supposed to be given a statue. She's loved the club. She's worked with the club. She has been a very phenomenal, brilliant. Having the Chelsea team win a lot of trophies, especially the women's uh, trip. Now, successor will have a lot of work to do. That's Sonia. So I think with time, we'll see how it develops. But then she has set the buy so high. So um, she needs to work hard. She needs to get the squad rolling again. And we'll see how it goes. Yes. Uh, better luck to her, Sonia. It's a company. Bayern Munich have confirmed and he has done the signature. Do you think Vicen Company is the ideal manager for Bayern or what would he change in Bayern that Thomas Tuchel didn't? Yeah, so when it comes to Vicen Company's signing, it's a bit controversial because um, people are looking at Vicen Company coming in to coach someone like Manuel Neuer, someone like Thomas Muller, uh, and it's going to be very, very difficult. But then it was mentioned that according to sources that before they hired him, they had gone to talk to Pep Gajula and ask about club, uh, ask about uh, Vincent Company. And Gajula said he's he's good, he's, he's the right man for the job. Now, I think that Bayern Munich are trying to go to a different direction now, trying to also change the whole squad and move to uh, a new direction. We know that any team which picks up 
it will go down, which is normal. But then Vincent is the man for the job currently. So in order for him to do well, I think he has to get a good relationship with the senior players. And also, I'm feeling that if the senior players would leave, it will rather help him get hold of the, the young ones and work well with them. But then uh, let's keep our fingers crossed for that one and see how it pans out. And let's see how it works out. Uh, Real Madrid is in the transfer window as well. Last time we, sp we spoke about uh, we, yeah, we spoke about uh, Alfonso Davies joining Real Madrid. And it looks like right now they are looking forward to see Bayern Munich lower the price of Alfonso Davies before they actually go in. What's your, your, your opinion on that? When it comes to Alfonso Davies, it's, 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 it's a very tricky situation because Real Madrid would like to sign him. They went to him beginning of the season to ask of him. You know, he has not been able to still sign the new contract by, by Munich gave him. So Roma will look to sign him. He has just a year on his contract. But then when it comes to Ancelotti, Ancelotti too is not so happy with the sign because Ancelotti trusts and believes in Mendy. He say he keep on saying that Mendy is the best left back in the world and he's someone that he wants to work with. Roma do have stated that they are not going to buy Afonso David with the price tag they are giving them, that is 60 million. If the price tag is able to come to 30 to 40 million, that's one they can consider. But the 60 to 70, they are never going to buy that. And I don't see Real Madrid doing that business, especially having someone like Mendy there. So I think if Bayern Munich want to offload him, they will have to lower the price tag of Afonso David. Barcelona, Barcelona that we knew like they will have a lot of issues going into the transfer window because of maybe one way or the other, the financial um, status of the club. But then it looks like the 50 matches unbeaten club by Liverpool, their general midfielder has been linked with Barcelona. And it's no other person but Ezekiel Palacios. Do you think Barcelona will be able to land that player? Definitely, ever since Hans Fleck was able to sign for Barca. And yes, to all the Barca fans, it's confirmed Hans Fleck has signed and he has signed till 2026. So ever since he did that, there came the, the link up with a lot of German players. And Ezekiel Palacios has been mentioned as a defensive midfielder. Well, for me, as a Barca fan, I know that um, we are in the search of defensive midfielders. But then because Hans Flick is a German, definitely they have to go to the Bundesliga to bring in a German too. So at this moment, I think it's still early. Uh, yesterday, an interview was with uh, Ezekiel Palacios was made and he felt happy because a club like Barca is interested in him. But then he too, he said he doesn't know his future yet. I think with the coming days, um, Hansen Flick will meet with Deco and they'll decide the kind of profile they want. Right now, I hear that um, Deco has tried to push out Joshua Kemek out. So now we are still looking for a series of um, defensive midfielders. So then, yeah, let's see how it goes. And Ezekiel Palacios is, is, is a young good defensive midfielder. But then, would Barca really go for him? That's a question. So, let's keep our finger crossed. And, and, and this will bust your mind. And I don't, know, I don't know what to say about it, but then it looks like Steven Gerrard of Liverpool, former Liverpool player who is a former Aston Villa manager, seek to meet Alex Ferguson for managerial advice. What do you think of that? Because we know these two clubs, the history between these, when Steven Gerrard was there, Alex Ferguson was coaching, they were having a lot of beef between Madrid, uh, Liverpool and, and then Manchester United. And now Steven Gerrard, his managerial club since moving to England, hasn't been that good for, for himself. And now he seeks the services of the great man himself, Sir Alex Ferguson. <laughs> what do you take on that? But What's think, your take on that? Yeah, I think it's a normal thing. When you are in a kind of job, you want to seek advice from your senior colleagues. That is, it doesn't matter where he played for, he's now going to be a manager. And as a manager, you need experience and you need some advices. We've seen a lot of people understanding from Gajola, understanding from Ancelotti, understanding for other, other top coaches. So if he's going for advice at, um, say, Alex Ferguson's uh, side, I think it's a good thing because we've seen that so far, Steve Gerrard's um, coaching career has not really been the best. So then 
I think he'll get one or two pointers, which will help him lead him to the right direction. When it comes to the England formal top players, I think their career has not really been the best in the likes of Frank Lampard, Steven Gerrard, Ruben Rooney. So if he's looking at that opportunity to get experience and get some knowledge, I think it's good. It's not it's, it's not supposed to cause any problem. It's just it's just for the 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 learning aspect. So guys, if you just join us and you are new, remember to subscribe and be part of this amazing community. Share and also like the video as well. Yes. Yeah, so um, there's 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 a lot of um, rumors going on, and you just have to stay tuned. Especially if you are a Chelsea fan, if you're a United fan, there's something interesting coming. If you are a Barcelona fan, if you're a Real Madrid fan, if you are a Juventus fan, you know, there's there's a lot of uh, news. And we are still gathering this news and we will bring it to your doorstep. So just stay tuned, tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe because then we are bringing you the updates soon. Bringing you the updates, guys. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video. Ciao.